I'm Judith Monroe, and this is my studio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Are you ready? So this is what it looks like walking in. And right away you can see I've got a tripod so I can take videos. But I know that's not what you're really interested in. So let's get to some good stuff. Um, <laughs> first of all, you can see that I have artwork everywhere. So this is behind the door. I'll take you through some of these in other videos. This is here. There's some down there. Oh, on this wall, all over the place. Oh look, even behind my computer space. All right, so where to begin? So this is right above my computer desk, the top shelf of it. And you can see that I have um, a few items that I have collected. Ah, uh, yes. Just because nobody understands you doesn't make you an artist. I got a kick out of that, and my daughter gave it to me for Christmas. Let's see. Ah, uh, this is one of my pieces of taxidermy. I should take her out. So I have a few pieces of taxidermy. In general, I like to keep them in a case or under glass. Um, you will see these particular items also show up in artworks because this is, you know, this bird. Um, this is Prunella. I think this is Prunella. Um, anyway, she sits still really well, so she's really easy to take pictures of. One of the reasons I love it. This is another little taxidermy. This is a framed butterfly. A gift from a foster child, so to speak. A mug with my artwork on it. Next up, we have another piece of taxidermy. This is Bunny. She, uh, she started out life on a TV show set. I found her on Etsy, I believe. She's recently gotten a new home, a nice case to protect her from dust and bugs, because that's important. I'm not gonna take you through every single shelf that I have because, oh my, that would really probably take too long. But here we have many little goodies. Um, all kinds of things. This is, you know, you can see there's a, a chrysalis there that never, nothing ever came out of. Lots of seashells. Oh yeah. I do keep bugs. <laughs> This one's not gonna hurt the taxidermy though. And another butterfly gift and a piece of artwork one of my kids did when they were little. And I have no idea who. <laughs> um, let's see, oh yeah. A hand with a little heart in it and a resin cast heart. Isn't that cool? Some people don't think so. More taxidermy, little sleeping baby rat. Let's see, oh yeah, the skull. I think it's a cat skull. I do also have some, you know, camera kind of things. This is a um, stereo viewer and a brownie camera. Uh, 
three of your cards. Oh, yeah, a turtle shell. Bird's nest. All kinds of interesting books, rocks. My great grandfather was a rock hound. So I have some pretty cool rocks. Oh, more interesting things. See, more cameras right next to a lotus pod. And oh yeah, the contents of a owl pellet. And oh yeah, this is a cute little tiny bird skull. That's a gift from a friend. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, a dried up lizard from my brother's pool. Lovely butterflies. A tin type I made wet plate collodion um, of a dead bird because you know what else? Down here, a nest with some broken eggs. All kinds of interesting wood. Um, oh, special rocks from. Zephyr Beach in Tahoe, June 2017. So this is my me work table. This is right behind, see? Shelves, work table. Um, I've actually spent a lot of time getting it cleaned because it's time to start something new. And behind it is a smaller work table with some, you know, fun and interesting things. Um, horns and ant antlers and skull. And um, right now, I do actually have little living creatures as well. Those are darkling beetles. They've been fun to photograph. This is... Um, narrow wall with you can see that it's not quite two o'clock and all kinds of fun things that right there is billy i need to take billy's portrait still and um you know can't have an artist studio without a couple of models all kinds of interesting things i do have artwork from other friends look susan there's your artwork right next to another bird's nest. Mm. All kinds of interesting things. Most of these things I photographed or just, you know, collected. Um, this is a slightly closer look. It's something you usually see behind me. Um, We'll see horses and a crab and a bird's um, baby bird skeleton, another crab and a container. <laughs> um, Darla. Darla's in plastic. She needs a proper case. All kinds of. Oh, that's a bush tit nest there on the right. Don't laugh. It's a real bird. And then, um, oh, we have a mixture. On the left, an assemblage piece. On the right, collected things. More assemblage up there. You can see that um, it goes across all the way over there. And I have um, south-facing windows, which give me good light, but it does make this the warmest room in the house. Okay, in the summer, less. I mean, okay in the winter, less so in the summer. Oh, some of my uh, dolls, tiny doll house dolls. That's the portrait actually my friend took of me that same day I took the, made the wet plate clothing of the dead bird. She made a portrait of me. And then um, here we start to get into my art supplies. A drill, um, oh, it's a heat gun, miscellaneous tools, um, pencils and markers and fun stuff, 
Here you get to see um, paint. Nothing's out right now. Um, mediums. More paint and things. More brushes. And uh, these old glass insulators. My dad used to collect those, had a ton of them. I've just narrowed it down to a couple. They're pretty here in the window. I've suddenly, I've recently, not suddenly, well, sort of suddenly recently, brought some living plants in here. My daughter's workspace, that's the clean thing there. And sculpture in progress. Someday we'll make more things out of that. More art on the wall. The cool things about this space is I have really a lot of covered space. And you can see I've got a light there. It's not on, don't need it right now. More tripods. Um, one cupboard is open. This particular cupboard has um, Polaroid film up there. Cameras in all kinds of places. There's a bunch of collage material. All of that space right there. That's collage, lots of maps and papers. And then the bottom is my rock collection <laughs> that's uh, largely from my great-grandfather. I have no shortage of rocks for uh, assemblage, shadow boxes, that kind of thing. So when we move to the right, we get to see how oh, look, doggies. So this is a little coffee table that um, I do a lot of art journaling at. Um, and there's my dog Sparky on the futon. And then that wall is art storage. Um, yeah, gotta put it somewhere. And then down underneath, Molly! <laughs> He does not care right now at all. So from here you can see that's kind of the whole of the studio. Oh yeah, under the work table you can see is a bunch of storage and kind of things stored everywhere. So that's pretty much it outside. you enjoyed that brief look at my studio um, definitely you will see more I'm gonna be starting a big project soon so I'll be sure to share every little bit of that with you and uh, if that sounds good or even if it doesn't I'd love it if you would subscribe comment or like or all three thanks